dear students today we are going to start continuity of rd sharma exercise 9.2 question number first prove that the function f of x is equal to sin x upon x if x is less than 0 and f of x is equal to x plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 0 is everywhere continuous in this question we have to prove this function is continuous everywhere so for this first we will prove this function is continuous at x is equal to 0 then we have to prove this function is continuous at x is less than 0 then finally we will prove this function is continuous at x is greater than 0 so <coughs> if we are proving all this then we can say this function is continuous everywhere okay so now i am starting the solution at x <coughs> is equal to 0 the value of function is x plus 1 so therefore f of 0 <coughs> is equal to x plus 1 put here x is equal to 0 so 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 now <coughs> calculate left hand limit for x is less than 0 left hand limit limit x tends to <coughs> 0 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus take this function x is less than 0 here sin x upon x for left hand limit we have to put x is equal to a minus h here a is equal to 0 so put x is equal to 0 minus h change tends to if x tends to 0 then h tends to 0 how put this 0 minus h here 0 minus h tends to 0 that is h tends to 0 therefore left hand limit will become limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 <coughs> sin x is equal to 0 minus h upon x is equal to 0 minus h simplify this limit h tends to 0 sin minus h upon minus h this minus theta lies in fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant cos is positive it is sin so sin minus h will become minus sin h upon minus h this minus minus gets cancelled so this is limit h tends to 0 sin h upon h now we can apply the limit since limit theta tends to 0 sin theta upon theta is equal to 1 so here limit h tends to 0 sin h upon h will become 1 left hand limit we got 1 now take right hand limit and right hand limit limit x tends to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus where x is greater than 0 here x is greater than 0 so take this function x plus 1 <coughs> x plus 1 for right hand limit we have to put x is equal to a plus h here a is equal to 0 so put x is equal to 0 plus h change tends to if x tends to 0 then h tends to 0 how put this 0 plus h here x is equal to 0 plus h 0 plus h tends to 0 that is h tends to 
therefore right hand limit will become limit x tends to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 x is equal to 0 plus h and plus 1 substitute the value of h 0 plus 0 plus 1 that is 1 so <clears throat> clearly we can notice left right hand limit 1 left hand limit 1 and f of 0 is equal to 1 clearly left hand limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is equal to right hand limit x tends to 0 plus f of x is equal to f of 0 all the three things are coming equal therefore f is continuous at x is equal to 0 x is continuous at x is equal to 0 now we have to prove x is continuous for less than 0 and x is continuous for greater than 0 so now <coughs> just consider plate x is equal to a and a is less than 0 x is equal to a and a is less than 0 this I considered here so therefore the value of function at a f of a is equal to where x is less than 0 here x is less than 0 so take this function sin x upon x sin x upon x here we substituted x is equal to a so this side also substitute x is equal to a so sin a upon a sin a upon a now this is the value of function and calculate the limit limit x tends to a f of x is equal to limit x tends to a sin x upon x so substitute the value of x here so it is sin a upon a clearly clearly limit x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a therefore f is continuous f is continuous at x is less than 0 so here we prove f is continuous at x is less than 0 now one more point is left x is greater than 0 for this x is greater than 0 function is x plus 1 here we have to prove this function is continuous so let x is equal to a where a is greater than 0 therefore f of a is equal to the value of function for x is greater than 0 is x plus 1 substitute this side a also x is equal to a so this is a plus 1 a plus 1 now limit and limit x tends to a f of x is equal to limit x tends to a x plus 1 substitute x is equal to a so this is a plus 1 clearly clearly limit x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a therefore f is therefore f is continuous continuous at x is greater than 0 
Hence, here we proved this function is continuous at x is equal to 0. This function is continuous at x is less than 0. And this function is continuous at x is greater than 0. Hence, f is continuous everywhere QED QED means quad erase demonstrandum that is the thing which was to be proved. Question number second discuss the continuity of the function f of x is equal to x upon modulus of x where x is not equal to 0 and f of x is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0. So here <coughs> we have to discuss the continuity at x is equal to 0 first then we will discuss continuity at x is not equal to 0. So at x is equal to 0 function is 0 f of 0 is equal to 0. Now for not equal to 0 take left hand limit and right hand limit first left hand limit limit x tends to limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus x upon modulus of x put x is equal to 0 minus h change tends to if x tends to 0 then h tends to 0 therefore left hand limit will become limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 x is equal to 0 minus h upon mod of x is equal to 0 minus h simplify this limit h tends to 0 minus h upon mod of minus h this modulus sign will consume the minus sign so limit h tends to 0 minus h upon mod of h and this mod of h we can write only h. So limit h tends to 0 minus h upon h. This h h cancelled one time so minus 1 here. So direct h tends to 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 this is equal to minus 1 now the for the same function calculate the right hand limit and right hand limit <coughs> limit x tends to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus function is x upon mod of x x upon mod of x so for right hand limit we have to put a plus h here a is equal to 0 so put x is equal to 0 plus h change tends to if x tends to 0 then h tends to 0 how just 0 plus h here 0 plus h tends to 0 that is h tends to 0 therefore right hand limit will become limit x tends to 0 plus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 x is equal to 0 plus h upon mod of 0 plus h simplify this limit h tends to 0 0 plus h h and this is mod of h mod of h we can write only h so limit 
h tends to 0 h upon h this h h gets cancelled one time so this limit limit h tends to 0 1 is equal to only 1 clearly left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit is not equal to f of 0 so therefore f is discontinuous continuous at x is equal to 0 this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 now we have to check this function is continuous or not at x is not equal to 0 now let x is equal to a and a is not equal to 0 so therefore value of function f of a is equal to what is the function x upon mod of x x upon mod of x for not equal to 0 the value of function is x upon modulus of x here we substituted x is equal to a so here also substitute x is equal to a a upon mod of a and calculate the limit at x is equal to a and limit x tends to a f of x is equal to limit x tends to a function x upon mod of x substitute x is equal to a so a upon modulus of a so clearly the value of function and limit is equal clearly limit x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a where a we considered not equal to 0 means it may be greater than 0 or less than 0 so therefore f is continuous at x is not equal to 0 so here we got this function is discontinuous at particular point x is equal to 0 and continuous at x is not equal to 0 if x is not equal to 0 then it is continuous hence f is f is discontinuous discontinuous at x is equal to 0 and continuous at x is not equal to 0 f is discontinuous at x is equal to 0 and continuous at x is not equal to 0 question number third find the points of discontinuity if any of the following functions find the points of discontinuity if any of the following functions part first f of x is equal to x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 if x is not equal to 1 f of x is equal to 4 if x is equal to 1 so first we will test the continuity at x is equal to 1 then we will check the continuity at x is not equal to 1 from there we can get the points of continuity or discontinuity so at x is equal to 1 here x is equal to 1 so function f of x is equal to 4 at x is equal to 1 so therefore therefore f of 1 is equal to directly 4 now left hand limit and right hand limit for not equal to 1 left hand limit 
limit x tends to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 1 minus function is x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2. Little bit simplify this. Limit x tends to 1 minus take out common x square from first two terms so x minus 1 plus 2 common x minus 1. Take out this factor x minus 1 common which is equal to limit x tends to 1 minus x minus 1 common so here x square plus 2 ok now for left hand limit we have to put a minus h here a is equal to 1 so put x is equal to 1 minus h change tends to if x tends to 1 then h tends to 0 how put this 1 minus h here 1 minus h tends to 1 1 1 gets cancelled so minus h tends to 0 that is h tends to 0 therefore left hand limit will become limit x tends to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 x is equal to 1 minus h minus 1 put x is equal to 1 minus h whole square plus 2 here directly we can put h is equal to 0 because no denominator here so it will not become 0 upon 0 form. So directly we can put h is equal to 0. First minus 1 plus 1 cancelled. Which is equal to limit h tends to 0. Minus h. Open this by using identity a square minus 2ab plus b square plus 2. Which is equal to limit h tends to 0 minus h 1 plus 2 3 minus 2h plus h square now substitute h is equal to 0 so this is minus 0 into 3 minus 2 into 0 plus 0 square so when we multiply by 0 so it will become 0 only 0 is neither positive nor negative so no need to put the sign only 0 now right hand limit and right hand limit limit x tends to 1 plus 1 plus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus same function x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 plus 2x minus 2 after simplifying this limit x tends to 1 plus 1 time we solved so no need to solve it again and again x minus 1 x square plus 2 x minus 1 into x square plus for right hand limit put x is equal to 1 plus h put x is equal to 1 plus h change tends to if x tends to 1 then h tends to 0 how put this 1 plus h here 1 plus h tends to 1 1 1 cancelled h tends to 0 therefore right hand limit will become limit x tends to 1 plus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 x is equal to 
वन प्लस एच माइनस वन एंड हियर एक्स स्क्वेयर सो वन प्लस एच होल स्क्वेयर प्लस टू दिस माइनस वन प्लस वन गेट्स कैंसल्ड विच इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एच टेंड्स टू जीरो दिस इज एच ओपन दिस बाय ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वेयर वन प्लस टू एच प्लस एच स्क्वेयर प्लस टू लिमिट एच टेंड्स टू जीरो एच वन प्लस टू थ्री प्लस टू एच प्लस एच स्क्वेयर नाउ सब्सिट्यूट एच इज इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो इन टू थ्री प्लस टू इन टू जीरो प्लस जीरो स्क्वेयर वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो देन होल थिंग विल बिकम जीरो राइट हैंड लिमिट जीरो लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट जीरो बट एफ ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू फोर सो क्लियरली लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट लिमिट एक्स टेंड्स टू वन माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू राइट हैंड लिमिट लिमिट एक्स टेंड्स टू वन प्लस एफ ऑफ एक्स is not equal to f of 1 therefore f is discontinuous at x is equal to 1 therefore f is discontinuous at x is equal to 1 so point of discontinuity x is equal to 1 now Check the continuity at x is not equal to one. Now, let x is equal to a, where a is not equal to one. A is not equal to one. Not equal to one means it should be greater than one or less than one. so therefore the value of function f of 1 f of a is equal to x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 put x is equal to a here so a cube minus a square plus 2a minus 2 leave it as it is and limit and limit x tends to a f of x is equal to limit x tends to a function is x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 directly put x is equal to a so a cube minus a square plus 2a minus 2 clearly limit x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a clearly limit x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a therefore f is continuous at x is equal to x is not equal to 1 f is continuous at x is not equal to 1 hence point of discontinuity x is equal to 1 only hence point of discontinuity x is equal to 1 hence f is discontinuous at x is equal to 1 this is the answer
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड पार्ट सेकंड एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स रेस टू फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन अपॉन एक्स माइनस टू एफ एक्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू सो एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो दे आर फोर दे आर फोर एफ ऑफ टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन कैलकुलेट लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट एंड राइट हैंड लिमिट फॉर एक्स इज नॉट इक्वल टू टू लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट 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 एक्स टेंस टू टू माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू टू माइनस एक्स रेस टू फोर माइनस सिक्सटीन अपॉन एक्स माइनस टू सॉल इट लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू टू माइनस एक्स रेस टू फोर कैन बी रिटर्न एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस सिक्सटीन कैन बी रिटर्न फोर स्क्वेयर अपॉन एक्स माइनस टू यूजिंग आइडेंटिटी ए स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू टू माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर इंटू एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस फोर अपॉन एक्स माइनस टू एज इट इज लिमिट x tends to 2 minus x square plus 4, and again this x square minus 4 can be written 2 square upon x minus 2. Again we can apply a square minus b square identity. So limit x tends to 2 minus x square plus 4 upon into x plus 2 into x minus 2 upon x minus 2. This x minus 2, x minus 2 gets cancelled, which is equal to limit x tends to 2 minus x square plus 4 into x plus 2. For la for left hand limit, put x is equal to 2 minus h. Put x is equal to 2 minus h. Change tends to if x tends to 2, then h tends to 0. How? Put this 2 minus h here. 2 minus h tends to 2. 2 2 cancelled. That is h tends to minus h tends to 0. That is h tends to 0. Therefore, left hand limit will become limit x tends to 2 minus f of x. Is equal to limit h tends to zero x square so two minus h whole square plus four into x plus two x is equal to two minus h and plus two here in denominator nothing is here so it will not become zero upon zero form so directly we can put h is equal to zero. 2 minus 0 square plus 4 into this 2 minus 0 plus 2. 2 square 4 plus 4 and this is 2 plus 2 4. 4 plus 4 8 into 4 8 for the 32. And right hand limit, right hand limit, limit x tends to two plus f of x is equal to limit x tends to two plus x raised to four minus sixteen upon x minus two. Same function. One time we solve this, so no need to solve it again. Directly we can write. Limit x tends to 2 plus x x square plus 4 into x plus 2. X square plus 4 into x plus 2. Put x is equal to 2 plus h. Change tends to if x tends to 2, then h tends to 0. How? 
put this 2 plus h here, 2 plus h tends to 2, that is h tends to 0. Therefore, right hand limit will become limit x tends to 2 plus f of x is equal to limit h tends to 0, x is equal to 2 plus h whole square plus 4 into x is equal to 2 plus h plus 2. Put h is equal to 0 directly, 2 plus 0 whole square plus 4, 2 plus h is equal to 0 plus 2, 2 square 4 plus 4 into 4, 4, 4, 8 into 4, 8, 4, ja, 32. Clearly, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit not equal to but not equal to f of 2. Therefore, f is discontinuous discontinuous at x is equal to 2. This function is discontinuous at x is equal to 2. Now, check the continuity for not equal to 2. Now, let x is equal to a and a is not equal to 2. So, therefore, f of a is equal to f of a is equal to function function for not equal to 2 x raised to 4 minus 16 x raised to 4 minus 16 upon x minus 2 put x is equal to a a raised to 4 minus 16 upon a minus 2 and limit x tends to a f of x is equal to limit x tends to a x raised to 4 minus 16 upon x minus 2. Here a is not equal to 2 so directly we can put x is equal to a a raised to 4 minus 16 upon a minus 2. Clearly clearly limit x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a both value equal therefore f is continuous at x is not equal to 2 hence f is discontinuous at x is equal to 2 only. Hence, f is discontinuous at x is equal to 2. So, this function is discontinuous at x is equal to 2 only.